Uh, hi, DT. So, a quick uh, video for this week's work, which is um, sketching your um, your balancing toy ideas. Okay, so hopefully you've done a mood board, got some ideas, and now it's time to do some sketching. Okay, and like I've said before, don't worry about it. It's only practice. Okay, just just try and get some ideas down. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna have a have a little go um, and show you how it goes. All right. So so. Um, so somebody sent me through um, their mood board, which is fantastic news, all right? And there's one on there that I really, really love, okay? Um, well, in fact, I, I like a lot of them, but this one is the one I'm going to go for because it, it just sort of... Yeah, anyway, here we go. So I'm going to have a little go at this. Um, you can see the different ones on there, okay? So some, some nice different ideas, but I'm going to have a go at sketching that one, all right? I'm sort of trying to think, how can I make that... Uh, of wood okay so it's um you can see it's made out of plastic at the moment molded plastic very detailed so i might not be able to get it quite as detailed but i think i can probably cut a shape like that out of wood all right so i'm thinking about how i could make it as well before i sketch it there's some others here let me just scroll this up i loved i like that i like that tiger that tiger's going to rock back and forward through that hoop there i, I do quite like that I don't think that'll be too tricky to do. Might not be able to do it in 3D. The tiger might be sort of like a, a you know, a cutout, but that might be quite all right to do. Anyway, some of them claim might be a bit complex, all right? But, so it's a couple of things to think about here, all right, when we're sketching and things and choosing designs. Uh, there's some great designs on there. Anyway, here we go, Superman. <laughs> Now, I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. There's a few shadows in the way. Um, it's a sunny day today. So I think I'm just going to start by just trying to just trying to do like a, a Superman. So he's his arm coming like that. And then it's his cape coming out like this. Yeah, it's like a triangle, isn't it? His cape. Well, it's got a bit of a curve on the bottom. Let's just try that. It's almost like a... What do you call those triangles like that? Uh, isosceles, isn't it? It's like an isosceles triangle, it's not quite a triangle because it's a, got a curve on it. And then another arm, so he's symmetrical. We don't have to worry too much about getting it accurate and just right. Now on his hands, that's where the little weights are gonna go. So we need to think about, about the little weights because that's where, I don't know if you can see the pictures on the other one, they've got little weights on them. That's what helps them balance, all right? I mean, if I go wrong, I can rub it out. It doesn't really matter. I'm not trying to be perfect here. Um, oh dear, I'm no good at head, so I'm just going to put a head on there, all right? I can do be a bit more better. Anyway, we can tie that up afterwards. So there he is, and, um, and we've got a couple of legs sticking out the back, all right? So we, we just have some legs like this sticking out the back, all right? And his feet, I don't know, something like that. Yeah? All right, so I don't know. Uh, that ain't bad, is it? Anyway, so... That's my little sketch there. Um, I think I'm going to make so I'm going to make a little label here and put um, the weights are going to go there. I wonder what he's balancing on. It looks like his nose or his chin. He's balancing on his chin. Um, so that's the top view. But what's he going to look like from the side? Hey, eh? I wonder what he's going to look look like from the side. So I'm going to try and do a picture here. So he's going to be out of. I'm going to have to make him out of a out of a lump of wood. Um, I'm not gonna be able to carve him like his 3D, like an action figure. Okay, that's just gonna to be too tricky. But what we can do is perhaps, I'm trying to think, so what I'm trying to do, I'm thinking, I'm trying, like, I'm gonna think of a lump of wood, right? That looks like that, yeah? So we've cut him out, that shape. Um, but what's he gonna look like this? We could probably just, we could probably cut, cut his arms there. That won't be too bad. See his chin, he needs his chin. So I think we could probably cut a head like that. Yeah. We could probably, if we're careful, might have to do some filing and sanding and just do it like that. Yeah, he's going to have a... That's his cape, yeah, up to there. And then his legs. All right. His legs is going to go all the way along like that. That's his arm reaching out, that's his head, and we're gonna to have to make a point for his chin there or something like that, all right? So, 
this ain't easy. This is a quite a complex task, actually. You now I've just thought about Spider Man, uh, Superman, Spider Man, ooh, Superman. So, um, yeah. Anyway, you can see I've had a go there. Um, now I've had a little go at doing that, and I'm starting to think, oh, that might be tricky. So let's just try and think of an easier one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little go at the um, little go. I'm putting the picture up. You can't see this, but I've got the picture up to copy. Um, you could also, of course, you could put your, you could put your sheet of paper. You know, you could get your picture up on there, and you could put your sheet of paper over. You can't see that, but you might be able to just see that coming through. Can you see that coming through? If I did that in a dark room. That, that tiger would come out and I could copy him, yeah? I could copy him right close on the thing. So he might be easier, actually, now I've thought about it. I'm just going to do a rough, a rough tiger's tail. That's his back. That's his, that's his head. And he's going to roar. That's his roar. Yeah, all right. So it ain't... Oh, yeah, he's looking a bit funny, me tiger. So it's not brilliant. All right, this is paw. Yeah, this is his body coming along like that. And he's got a back legs like that, and then he's going up, and there's his tail. Okay, all right, not brilliant, but I could start. I'd say if we traced him off the off the computer, okay. But the idea is, is getting do by doing this, your brain starts to work. I think I could cut him out actually, and then all I need to think about is doing the the curvy thing with a big ball underneath for him to rock, cutting out his his flames. That can't be too tricky. Can you see that? That's the ring, yeah, that he's thinking about jumping through. So I reckon, actually, I reckon I could probably, that wouldn't be too tricky to make, something like that. All right? Um, but, but by doing this sketching, it helps you think, okay? So um, there you go. Give it a go, all right? As you can see, it ain't brilliant, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. It's about getting the brain working and it helps, yeah? And you can trace off your off your computer. Anyway, enough of me. It's been quite a long little video. It's going to take all night to upload onto YouTube. But have a go, all right? And, and get those mood boards into me or whatever. Work. I love it. Thank you very much. See you soon.